no one from nowhere, and you are, and I am, a spirit of God. Today I want to talk to you about the future Anunnaki alien invasion in the Bible, question mark. First couple jokes. Where do crows go for a drink? A crow bar. <laughs> and what bird is always depressed? The blue jay. <laughs> Will there be an alien invasion? Is there any biblical proof? Is the current media a huge coincidence talking about UFOs for a bigger reason? Did the super flower blood moon in days past have anything to do with supposed, once again, you be the judge, Anunnaki alien invasion? And which Anunnaki god may be linked to this invasion? And also, why would there be an alien invasion? Oh. First, I take you to Revelation 6.12. When I saw the Lamb break open the sixth seal, and lo, there was a violent earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. Is the sixth seal a symbolic representation of the super flower blood red moon in days past? Does this relate to the upheavals attending to the day of the Lord? Does this biblical text clearly relate to an alien invasion? Red next. Yes, of course, but you be the judge. Revelation 16.21 Giant hailstones like huge weights came crashing down on mankind from the sky, and men blasphemed God for the plague of hailstones, because this plague was so severe. This is a biblical proof of an alien invasion, also linked to a total lunar eclipse of a super moon or super flower blood moon. What do you think? Please leave your comments. This is a pre-planned biblical in writing example thousands of years in the making in front of your eyes. Anunnaki aliens have invaded in secret yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Why wouldn't they? Since they are the gods of Genesis, the Elohim, why would they do this for an alien invasion? Basically, as Ronald Reagan said at the United Nations in 1987, because an alien threat would reunite the world as one, or one world order. Next, I take you to Revelation 17, 9 through 10. Here is the clue for one who possesses wisdom. The seven hills, or the seven heads, are seven hills of Rome on which the woman sits enthroned. There are also seven kings. Five have already fallen, one lives now, and the last has not yet come. But when he does come, he will remain only a short while. Next, Revelation 17, 13. Then they will come to an agreement and bestow their power and authority on the beast. Let's say the five kings are fallen empires like the number one, Persian, number two, Babylonian, number three, Egyptian, number four, Roman, number five, British, number six, the United States is the one who lives now and the last has not yet come. But the guarantee is in Revelation 17, 13. The beast will have one mind, one power, one authority. This is a biblical proof of one world order, like the Agenda 21 by United Nations. The beast tool could also be artificial intelligence. Does this make sense to you biblically? Do the Anunnaki control the media? Right now the media is putting out an overwhelming amount of information about UFOs and aliens. Please, you be the judge. Which Anunnaki God is associated with the alien invasion? 
Revelation 16, 13 through 16. I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come from the mouth of the dragon, from the mouth of the beast, and from the mouth of the false prophet. These spirits were devils who were prodigies. They went out to assemble all the kings of the earth for battle on the great day of God, the Almighty. Be on your guard, I come like a thief. Happy the man who stays wide awake and fully clothed for fear of going naked and exposed for all to see. The devils then assembled the kings in a place called Hebrew Armageddon. The great day of God the Almighty can be linked to the Anu equal to the Anunnaki Elohim. And he has a son that has several names, including Martu, Amaru, Ishkur, Adad, Baal, Malak, Yahweh, Andonia, Baal Hammon, Dagon, El, Zeus, Hadad, Belos, Baal, Barith, Kronos, Saturn, and El Shade. And El Shade in Strong's Concordance does mean destroyer. The god Martu is a god who destroys cities and rages over the land like a storm. He is linked to the biblical Amorites. He is the son of Anu and sometimes the son of Ninhursag. He carries a farming sickle or crook and knows nothing about agriculture. He is an example of the Greek god Kronos, Grim Reaper. One biblical proof found in Genesis 17.1. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am El Shaddai, God Almighty. Serve me faithfully and live a blameless life. <laughs> this is also the covenant of circumcision. See? So so. The Hebrew term Armageddon also means Mountain of Megiddo. Since Megiddo was the place of many decisive battles in the ancient past, why would this be so? Because the Anunnaki, Ishkur, Adad, Baal, Malak, El Shaddai, Yahweh, controlled and was worshipped in the city of Tel Megiddo, or Har Megiddo, which means end of the world. What are they not telling you? That Megiddo means world control, power, and money, through trading and tra trade routes. King Solomon was the wisest, richest man in the world, because he was said to control Tel Megiddo, the city that connected all trade routes between Egypt, Mesopotamia, and Asia, found in 1 Kings 9, 15 through 19. So clearly this is linked to Revelation 17, 17 through 18. For God, or Anu, has put it into their minds to carry out his plan by making them agree to bestow. The devil put it in their minds, so it's all those names, G-O-D, to every single name y'all use, and all the names of the devils. Their sovereignty on the beast until his will is accomplished. The woman you saw is the great city which has sovereignty over the kings of the earth. And this can be linked to Ishtar, or the Statue of Liberty. Thank you so much. Peace and love to you. And always remember that you are and I am the spirit of God. The spirit of the creator. Only, not G-O-D, that word's pagan. Peace and love.